I jump up and down. I jump up and down. I get all excited. I get all excited and I think of it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here and you didn't already, my name is Tara and thank you so much for being here. And here's Kyle. <laughs> I never know how to introduce somebody in a video because I always film alone, so... This is my boyfriend, Kyle. I love when people send me Kyle memes when they find out that my boyfriend's name is Kyle. I get so many Kyle memes. Have you seen the Kyle memes before? I've seen the one where it's like uh, invading Area 51 and the first person in is Kyle. Yeah. Send the Kyles in <laughs> with the monster. I'm like, I don't even drink monster. <laughs> <laughs> In today's video, we are going to be unboxing these two boxes full of crystals. Before I start unboxing, I just want to give you a little bit of information about where I buy my crystals since a lot of you guys ask when I do these unboxings. I buy them strictly from one person on Instagram. They go by the handle Ethereal Candy. I will, of course, link them down below. They have an amazing program called their Build-A-Box program, and you can buy a box starting with a small box they have small and medium and you can fill it as you go along throughout the year or throughout the month or however long you buy crystals for until your box is full and then they ship it to you so you pay for the item when they have their sales on Instagram and they put it in your box to hold for you when your box gets full they ship your box to you I did a video like this last year and since I unboxed that box I have been collecting buying crystals from them all year so here are my crystals. I really recommend them if you guys are looking to purchase crystals not only do they have amazing quality crystals for a good price they also have no problem educating you about the type of crystal that you're buying and stuff like that really love them definitely should check them out if you are into this kind of thing are you ready Freddie yes it's like I'm just playing with the song when I saw this on her page I immediately commented on there and was like how many did you pick up because she went to Tucson for the crystal show I was like how many did you pick up I need one in my life I was so drawn to it they will let you know the exact size of things too which I really appreciate I was gonna say yeah she said be careful and I'm like impatient so I was like is that a snack for me it's not a snack Snacks. wait till you guys see this I'm so excited look at how beautiful it is it's a little owl family they say what stone it is it's pink opal and it's the eyes are tiger's eyes so the the whole thing is car or the whole carving is pink opal and then the eyes on the owl are a tiger's eye i know pink opal is pretty hard they must have went through a lot of bits it's so pretty the carving is so detailed you can even see the claws yeah that's pretty nice they did a great job on that he's like can i eat that what do you think about it winnie boys i want to eat it what do you think about it winnie like so excited to add it to my collection everything is packed really really nicely so we're going into the second box these are all my invoices from throughout the year one of the things that i always buy from them when they sell it is spirit quartz because they sell some of the most beautiful pieces of spirit quartz and she finds some of the most beautiful pieces of spirit quartz so here is one that i picked up it's so pretty and i believe it self stands I'm assuming so, but it's so pretty. I love spirit quartz. It's just so pretty. It is really pretty. It's so pretty. It's like fairy or fairy quartz, some people call it that. Some of the pieces that I own that are smaller are some of my most favorite pieces and unique pieces. I love flower Aggie so much. Flower Aggie. I love the milkiness to this sphere, and it's just so pretty. Isn't it pretty? It looks like a flower planet. Aggie. It does. Not a planet. Um, oh yeah. Okay. I mean, it does look like a planet to me. I love spheres though. If it was a little bit more red in there, it would kind of remind me of Mars. Mars. Yeah. That was kind of my feel that I got for it when I looked at it. Another spirit quartz. I love spirit quartz. And like I said, she just always finds the most prettiest pieces. I don't think this one self stands. I might be able to get it to stand. But I just love how beautiful this one is. It's got that orange in it too. Yeah, we'll lean to one side. I think, yeah, I could get it to stand. So fitting to be opening these on a full moon too, because tonight's the full moon. So here is another one. I think this one is also spirit quartz. I could be wrong. You can yeah. correct me in the comments. I really like it. I like the little the little guy poking out here. I know there's a term for it, but I forget right now. Nubs. 
Isn't it cute? This I know is pink opal. Just a nice piece of pink opal. And I really wanted this to carry with me. It's a good size for my hand. I like pieces that I can carry with me that fit. They're like not so small that I'll lose them, but not too big that I can't put them in the palm of my hand. That's what the owls are carved out of, this oh, pink opal. That's so weird looking. It is weird looking, but I love it. It looks like somebody just heated up plastic and it bubbled Isn't in it weird how that looks? Stuff. This is another spear quartz. Oh, tar. <laughs> so we gotta talk about it. This. Look at his spirit quartz collection going on here. Here is another spirit for spirit spirit forks. Spirit quartz. This is a finger, basically. It looks like my finger. It's just like a fancy but bedazzled finger. Dazzled. I don't think this one will self-stand, but it's really pretty and I would use this for like gritting and stuff. For what? Gritting. I don't know what that is. It might. It's pretty prickly, but it's so pretty. This is what I bought throughout the whole year, so like it's me buying one item here, one item there, two items there, two items there, you know? Oh. I think this is the Celestial. I'm not a crystal, um, what do you call it, master. I have I'm the, I have all the volumes of the crystal books, and like if I can't remember something, I just go look it up after. It reminded me of like the back of a reptile or something. Do you see it? No. I do not. Oh, well, I did. I don't know. I just really liked it. She's pretty. I'm sorry, guys. I had a little bit of a spirit quartz obsession. But this one is just so unique. Like, look at how it just, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just so unique to me. Place your like, bets it should be going like this. on how many there are of these. But, no, there's not. They're not all spirit quartz. I think this is the smoky amethyst. Look at how pretty. It's really pretty. I love spears, if you can't tell by my wide collection of them. Let me know in, down in the comments below too if you would like a crystal collection video. I plan on doing one when it gets a little bit warmer and I can be outside under natural light to do really good pictures and a close-up video of all my crystals. This is a in, uh, in hydro agate, so it has water in it. it. Has water in it. You hear That's it? That's freaking neat. <laughs> you didn't know they made these? Yeah, there's water in this. They make these? Well, I mean, yeah. I, the earth makes these, I should say. You didn't know they had these? No, it's freaking neat, though. Yeah, I know you can see it. It's cool. You can hear it. There's so much water in this one, too. It's like up to here. It's an agate. You can see it. The water literally all the way up to here it's full with water i was really drawn to the print on this one because it looked like there's like eyes all over it's kind of it. like a rock version of a coconut it's just really pretty and again i like that it's palm size i really love lamarians i own quite a few smoky lamarians all from her wait because she has a really good oh wait one train it's okay she has a really good eye for picking Lemarians, so this is a Lemarian. They're very interesting to me, and I'm very drawn to them. So this one is just really pretty. And the train is going by because it hates my life. See it? It's about to get real motherfucking loud in here. Look at the clarity on that one. You know those big smoky ones that I have? Mm -hmm. That's what these are, but these these are like the clear versions of them. The other ones are smoky. When you boys are like, huh? You're right. Let me play with my balls while I wait for the train to go by. I know when she forgot about mine. About what? What? Oh, I got it. <laughs> that took me a second. She's a chunker. A lot of the crystal sellers that are on IG, they won't do combined shipping. So if you buy from one live sale one hour and buy from another live sale the next hour, it ships separately and you get charged separately for shipping. Or if you buy from a sale one day and then you buy from a sale the next day, you get charged different shipping. I it's found the pretty spot. crappy. This is a Labradite sphere. You like Labradite too. I like Labradite. This is the ones that have like a really good flash on them. This one's really pretty. 
have elaborates weird from her already. She picks out really good elaborates yours too. She picks out good everything. I just love everything that not I don't love everything she picks out, but I love all the stuff that I get from her anyway. And she just has a really good eye for things. I feel like some crystal sellers, they just buy things to buy things. I feel like with them, they really take the time to pick out each piece. This is sunstone. Picked up a sunstone palm stone. That popped in fast. <laughs> I actually picked this up for somebody, and I'm going to give that to them. My mom. I have sunstone, sunstone spheres. That popped in fast. I know. I can never say their name right. Larmar, Larmar. I have a necklace from them that has made. Oh, I'm not wearing it. The one time I'm not wearing it, I've been wearing that necklace like every single day since I freaking bought it. I think it's in the hutch. No, it's um upstairs in oh. my selenite bowl cleansing right now. Here is a really nice piece of Larmar. I always say the name wrong. I could be butchering it right now. I really like this piece, and again, it's really nice for in the palm. Really good for gritting. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't know. I just find it so pretty. We have one, two, three, four, five pieces left. This is a golden healer. Ooh, I almost dropped it. My hands golden don't want to work for me today. It's a golden healer free form. I really liked this when I saw it. I thought it was really pretty. I really liked the um, color gradient right here. Or not gradient, but like, well, I guess it is kind of a gradient, but I just like the yellow in it. I just think that it looks really pretty. I like the darker parts of yellow orange, like the rustic color throughout it. And I don't own any golden healer. That is my first piece of golden healer that I own. Oh, my fingers do not want to hold this. Four more. Four school and seven years ago. Do you did you ever have to memorize that in school? The four score seven years ago thing? I don't think so. What? I did. They're also out in the middle of nowhere, so. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This is a smoky Lemurian, so here is a regular Lemurian, and here's it's the yin and yang. Yeah, couple. pretty much. Here's the smoky Lemurian. I find the smokies to be prettier, wouldn't you say? Yeah. But I do like the clarity of a regular Lemurian. This is my first regular Lemurian. I own several, several smoky Lemurians. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. I told you the story about the Lemurians, right? With like the barcode down the side. And they believe that the, the ancient people like put their not thoughts, but like memories in these bar in the barcode that's in the side of it. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece is so far. What was your favorite so far, do you think? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I like that. The water one? The coconut rock. The water one, I knew that was his favorite. This is Lapidolite. I needed this for some grounding and, not grounding, yep, grounding, calming. I was gonna say if you need grounding, just stick your finger in the grounding. Shush up. This is some Lapidolite, it's a free form. I really like Lapidolite. I own a Lapidolite sphere and I really love it. I also own a Lapidolite raw form. And now I have this guy. Pretty. Here we have some Labradite. And this one, you guys are definitely going to have to see more up close and personal because of the flash. This guy is heavy. You see that? See the flash on there? Labradite's really pretty, huh? I love Labradite flash because there's so many just different types of flash on Labradite. You have purple, red, Blue, green, yellow. Like it's just crazy. Last one. Holy crap. It's so beautiful. This is an Orca Aggie freeform. And she heavy, but she's so pretty. She's like this Bless blue, you. gray, black with some druzy holes in there. <sighs> How pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's pretty. I love Aggie. What was your favorite piece, do you think? The water coconut. Still the water coconut? I would have to say same for me. I really, I don't know, I love so many of them. 
But again, I was drawn to all of them, so that's why I bought them. And I'm so excited to put them on my altar and in my background and all that fun stuff. So don't forget, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite crystal was that I unboxed and also what your favorite crystal in general is. I'm very curious to know because everybody just has that one favorite that they just have to have every single one of. My favorite crystal is the Winnie crystal. <laughs> And don't forget, if you like my vibe, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for unboxing with me. Bye. I really think this one's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm.